Honestly, positive though. Be positive. It's Monday. Be happy. Positive. Come on. Let's be positive. Just stop right there. Stop. No negativity. Stop. Let's be positive. positive. That's right. LBP. LBP, mate. Let's be positive. LBP with TMG, that's Twizel's Matt Gunn, brought to us by Resurrection Distillery. That's Resurrection is in the good Lord Jesus Christ on Ascension Thursday, rising, rising to sit back at the top table with the Holy Spirit and God himself. Resurrection Distillery on Facebook is where you go and the man makes his own. Gunny, welcome back, pal. Hey, Marty, how you going? Beautiful day down here. It is the perfect country today. Go on. No wind. 22 degrees, I can see the mountains, a little bit of a flutter of cloud, but it, it just doesn't get any better. What a what a fantastic day to be positive. Well, uh, also, you forgot to add to that that Jacinda's leaving, okay? So, I mean, if you add to that, it's an outstandingly positive reason to be positive, is it not? But also, can I ask, are you moaning a little bit? Because we're sitting here in the office going, it's too hot, it's too hot. It's summer, for God's sake, mate. What do you expect? No, it's, it can't. How can it be too hot? Maybe too humid. <laughs> too hot. Maybe mate. too humid, but not too hot. I tell you what, in Christchurch over the weekend, mm. oh, incredibly humid. I don't know if that's anything to do with the city itself or whether it was just humid. Well, probably a little bit of both. Let's talk sports, mm. shall we? You know what I'm saying. I know what you're saying. Anyway, look, it was just in the headlines, Michael Clark. Mate, does, does the whole of Australia hate him as much as every other cricket fan in the world hates this guy? Well, why does he make it so easy to like him, would be my question. Yeah, good point. Drama queen. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Well, it, it just uh, thrives on it. Mm-hmm. Thrives on a good headline. Yeah. And also, it's just you always, know. you know, just he's always a real dick with his girls. That's what I hate more than anything. As a, as a, as a fellow man in the, of the species, it's kind of like, dude, have some respect for the women in your life, okay? You know? Oh, yes, but he's the one that deserves respect. That's right. Yeah. That's what I get from him. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. Leopard, mm-hmm. Spot. Yeah. It's, a, it's the same pattern repeated over and over. The same pattern. Like Joe Parker. Can oh. we mention Joe Parker? Oh, look, we've talked about that today, Matt. I mean, what happens now with Joseph, mate? I like Joseph. I like him as a bloke and everything else, but it's starting to get to the stage where it's a bit cringy, isn't it? Well, the question is, I watched the fight. Does he look like he could be world champion? No. Forget about whether he can clock. You know, like the last few fights, when he got knocked out last time, I said, that's it, surely. And so there's another fight here. Uh, but what 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 did the fight mean? A friend of mine was here on Saturday. He said, well, isn't that on free to air? Is that even pay-per-view? Joe Parker, I thought he'd retired. Yeah. I thought he was going to be finished. <laughs> He'll fight a few more fights, but he's not going to be world champion. No. He can't get excited. No, he can't, mate. Look, Can you? The, no, unfortunately, no. we all wanted him to do good. We all wanted him to be a great champion. But unfortunately, well, he he watching lacks, that fight mate, on the weekend, he, locks the he one, looked busy and all the rest of it, but, but is he dangerous? No, he, 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 lacks, the, dangerous. Yeah, he lacks the one thing that a heavyweight boxer needs, which is a knockout punch. No one's been the heavyweight champ it's that can't dangerous. knock about knock a, knock, knock a bloke out. I mean, knock you and me out, but he's not going to knock another heavyweight out. Well, you watch Tyson Fury. And you think, could he, can he compete, Joseph Parker? No. Okay. Well, Zero. There okay. you go. No, that's it. That's the end. So, of it. okay. So, you know, how many more fights do you want to do? I don't know what else he well, wants to do. He, he, and the Run a gym or something? Hardest I don't thing, know. But, hardest thing now you, know, is you don't want to get bashed your whole life. No, then. and you can't be box office, mate, when you, when you aren't going to put somebody down in that division, and he's obviously not. The sevens, Matt... New Zealand rugby is still saying that they, you know, they're focusing on getting the sevens back and another series of South. Just stop it, mate. You know? Well, why would you bother? It was, it's been, it was ruined many years ago. Yeah. I mean, the thing about the sevens is uh, maybe, for, maybe for 10 years, maybe even longer than 10 years, the conversation has always been, why is the fun police ruin the seven? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that, that's, 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 that's the question that remains after every sevens. The point is... I went in 1997 to Hong Kong. That was the sevens. Yeah. You know, and I'm going to say primarily, it was heaps of blokes there. They were away for a bit, and it's a bit of a drink up, a bit of a party up weekend, and then you go back to normality. 
They've turned the sevens into a, a world circuit. They've got tournaments everywhere. Everyone's playing. You've got to be interested in all of it. And then you've got the Olympics and the Commonwealth Games. It just drags on and on. That's never what it was about. It was about blokes going to Hong Kong. Having a laugh, having a beer, a plane, having a mate. Going to That's Wellington. It. There you go. I mean, honest, let's be honest about it. So if it's going to be a family event, I don't even know where they go. Well, how can you find that, though? Because no, you find the that. audience was drinkers. That's it. And look, what it is, as I've been talking about today uh, with Lachlan, is, you know, we're a bit older now, and, we're, you know, and, and it's way past us. Going to the sevens now is like you and me turning up to Rhythm and Vines. You know, our children would say to us, hey, you know, what do you do? Stop this, okay? So we're past oh, yeah. it. They look at you sideways. They do, but but what it is... They is look it, at you sideways if you go there. It's trying to connect again, Matt, with the organisers of those events who know what it takes to get a huge group of young people you know, in your 20s or your early 30s together, having fun, getting loose and out of it and everything else, but behaving themselves within the bounds. Would New Zealand rugby sit down with them and figure it out? No, they wouldn't. They're too arrogant and up their backsides to do that, mate. But that's what it is. The audience was never a rugby crowd. Why do you constantly assume or pretend that you think it is New Zealand rugby? No, it was groups of blokes. And then it moved, and then it changed, and then they don't want to go anymore, and then it's gone. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's gone. I would let it go. I would think really long and hard about even worrying about making sure it was on the circuit, given the numbers that you could see were there. Look, it's got to be incredibly different. Definitely music, sure. I think the entertainment at the games needs to not stop for the games because they're not there for the games. If you're going to get them there. Mm. Yeah, it's like the Women's Rugby World Cup. Who they have, Rude Aurora. I mean, you know, that's kind of where, if you want to grow and build a new family sevens, they've already seen the kind of format laid out for the for the Women's Rugby World yeah, Cup. Yeah. It seemed to work okay to start to build an audience. So if you're going to go family, maybe that's it. But whatever, you've lost your original drinking audience. Yeah. I'm never going back. Mate, but the families, mate, aren't spending the money that... Look, I was saying, I started the show by saying, eight to $10 million. This was back when, in the 90s, right? And I was told by Nick Mills, the old mate, that that's what it brought into Wellington then. It probably doubled over the 2000s and that... But these people arrived in Wellington with silly money to spend, and it's all on hotels, bars, taxis, takeaway food. That's what that's what it is. And it, it's, it was never about what went on on the field. But as you say, I mean, everyone gets greedy, and they decided to make it a world circuit. But now you've got the Commonwealth Games every two years and the Olympics two years after that. I did, These things were irrelevant, mate. South Africa, Dubai, no, they, they, Canada. Look, there's so much bloody rugby, I can't keep up, mate! You couldn't agree with Mills more. He nailed it. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You know, a group of blokes go away and they're there and they're drinking. Mm-hmm. And what you say is right. It's the taxis. It's the bars. It's the food. It's the late night food. It's all the other bits and pieces. All right, there's a few blokes that cause a bit of trouble. And then they say, we've got to stop that. Well, that's killed the event. That's what the event was. It wasn't the sevens. So, you know, anyway, to get it back, they've got to reassess what they think the event's even about, which is nowhere near where it is now. Let's Simple. talk tennis, mate. You're watching the Aussie Open because you should be, because you should be proud of this, mate. This is one of the greatest sporting events in the world, I believe, the Australian Open. I love it. And it's on a perfect time zone for us here in New Zealand. Well, if you're going to watch a tournament, this is the one, isn't it? Because, yep. as you say, it just fits into your lifestyle. Mind you, with the way tennis is now, you can watch replays and that, but there's nothing better than watching it live. Yeah, I watched the gold. There's nothing I better than two watching blokes it last night. Look, and, and you I, know, the, the, I switched in at the, at the perfect time, mate, which is in the fifth set, just as they're about to do the tiebreaker. The last four and a half hours, I don't care about. I just want to watch this where the pressure comes and someone bottles it. Well, that's what it's about too, isn't it? And it's about the heat. It's about the conditions because it's a tough tournament. Mm-hmm. You know, they go about it. Every year. I don't like to hear the players whinge about it, but in reality, you know, playing in these kind of temperatures, the length of matches that some of them are, that's actually really, to me, the essence of it, is how tough can you be? Yes, but isn't it should be, Matt? This is the whole point. It's an an attritional sport. I keep harping on about the same things. Andy Murray moaning about a pee break. Mate... Take it at the end of the set. I think getting a break every two two games is absolutely farcical. You're meant to wear your opponent down. If after an hour your leg's gone and you can't you can't play on, stuff the physio and get in the doctor for ten minutes. Get off the field. You're done. Isn't that even how sport works? 
Well, I always thought tennis being the individual game, it was, it was about protecting yourself, you know, doing the things you know you needed to do and being smarter than the other guy. It's not just about tennis, is it? No. Especially in these marathons. So, yeah, and I don't think they should be able to just jump up. He no. wants to complain about it. That, you know, that's on him. You know, people will judge him for how he looks. But, you know, I want him to be hanging on if I'm the opposition. And I think that, you know, tennis being individual, they always think of themselves. But actually, sometimes that hanging on a little bit more, you just let it go if you need too much, to be honest. All right. Put some water on yourself. Let's be positive then. We're going to finish with the EPL. Right. And the, I don't want to talk about the Premier League. Do you want to talk about it? I don't want to talk about the Premier League. Go and get stuffed, mate, as far as I'm concerned. Look, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you one quick thing because I know a lot of people associate um, themselves in this situation. Yesterday I drove home from Christchurch. I had to get two chairs, Martin. Of course you did. Two chairs for the Gibson Valley concert. I've never been down there before. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming a little bank. Yeah. You get those little chairs. You know the little low rider oh, no. yeah. fold out chair. So yeah. you're almost on the ground. Yeah, you're about to almost perfect, yeah, perfect, 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 yeah. Picnics, mm -hmm. stretch your legs, instead of the sit up ones, right? Anyway. Three times I'm reminded I have to get chairs on the way home. I get the chairs. Turns out I got the wrong chair. <laughs> of course you did. I needed the ones with the longer legs. I didn't think we wanted the ones with the longer legs. Oh, no, I found the ones that I thought we originally talked no, about. No, we really didn't and talk then about what those. If someone, what, if someone, what if someone with a long leg one sits in front of us? I oh, sit well, on a bank. Well, it's, 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 I don't know. Well, what say they so don't? There you go. What say I, they don't? What say I've they don't? I've done the right thing. Yeah. I've been reminded three times. I do it, and then I'm told, "Well, you didn't actually have to get them today." But you were told to get them today on the way home three times. You were reminded, mate. Three times reminded. She reminded my daughter to remind me as well. Oh, she did. And then I got the wrong ones. Then I didn't have to get them. But I thought I got the right ones. I tell you what, that's how. Do you I, know what that's like. I know what exactly what that's like. That's like top. Arsenal scoring in the ninetieth minute, mate. That's what that feels like. You just feel like you just been kneed in the nuts, doesn't it? Kneed in the nuts. Guess what? I'm not interested in the EPL because it's over for me. Hmm, I know. It's I know. over for me. I know. I know. There's another one. There's another one. I don't have to worry about the final, <laughs> the end of it, the last few weeks. I don't have to consider. <laughs> do I put a bet on the DOB? Yeah. I'm out of it. I'm yeah. out of it. What am I waiting for now? What am I actually waiting for now? You're Maybe waiting for the, the doggies, the mate. You're waiting for the doggies, mate. Yeah. You can't. Come on, mate. NRL's oh, about to start. It's only January. It's only January. It's only January. But approaching quickly. All right, Matt, thank you for that. I just got a text and you'll love this. Hong Kong 7s and 97. I was there, said Mike. Bunch of blokes, lots of yarns, lots of lies, industrial quantities of beer, maybe a couple of bars late night we shouldn't have gone to. Uh, Shah Tin for the races. Nice weekend, and the footy was utterly boring. Thank you so much, Matt.